Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful day or night and that you'll enjoy the video and thank you so much for watching. If it's day three or four and she hasn't at least attempted to kiss you or lean in, we're just there for the free food, buddy. Yeah, we already know that. Food equals, remember? That's why we're doing coffee dates now. Huge red flag in the beginning stages of dating someone. You may think, no, he's nothing like the rest of them. But at the end of the day, you are a product of the five closest people you hang out with. Five people? Come on, let's be honest. More like 500. But you're talking about you not liking one of his friends? At this point, you're just looking for red flags even when they're not there. Do not let anyone shame you for being boy crazy. I always hear people and they're like, you shouldn't be boy crazy after high school. <laughs> Wrong! Sorry I like having fun. I'm 23 and until a couple of months ago, I was boy crazy. I have a boyfriend now, so it's like, uh. but I love being, I love being boy crazy. It's fun. Talking about boys with your best friend, the boys at the bar, the boys from high school, famous boys. It's fun. Not everything in life has to be like bah, 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 politics, mm, uh, economics, crypto. It's like, you could just be like, look at that boy. He's being a boy. Look at his Instagram. Boy, boy, boy. It's fun and harmless and a good time. Don't let anyone shame you for being boy crazy. And I don't even like boys that much. Girls? Men? It's like, ugh. But talking about boys? Come on. It's so fun. Be a little boy crazy. I can find so many reasons why being boy crazy will be wrong at your age, but sure, whatever. Men crazy will make more sense, but hey, what do I know? But this? I have a boyfriend now, so it's like, ugh. And also this? I don't even like boys that much. Girls? Men? It's like, oh. I really hope your boyfriend is gonna see your video. Can anyone else um, please tell me if they think dating in this day and age is a waste of time? I'm a single mom. I work. I study. I don't have time for this And everything you said is appealing to nobody. You work, you study, good on you. That takes a lot of your time. Being a single mother takes even more of your time. So where exactly do I fit in? What exactly makes you so special that I need to choose you and not someone that is not a single mother? Dating sucks? I agree. And with time passing by, I have a feeling it's gonna suck even more for you. You might not be a creepy guy if you get caught checking a woman out and your immediate response is to apologize to her. Yeah, no. Especially since I was curious enough to check your account. And every single video of yours is you half naked doing whatever. Does that mean I need to apologize to you every single time I'm watching one of your videos? <laughs> yeah, no. Not gonna happen. <laughs> I'm more of a made you look kind of person. <laughs> yeah, good on you. And this is honestly just some stuff that I can actually post here on this platform without getting in trouble. You know what the funny thing about life is? Is that it's so unfair. It's so unfair that right now in this time in our society, we're so obsessed with making everything fair. You can't say this. You can't do that. You have to respect everybody. And no, you don't. Literally, all the people I know who are winning at life, who have the most money, who are CEOs, blah, blah, blah. They're the weirdest, craziest, most problematic people I know. And you're over there sitting there complaining about a gold digger on TikTok. And you have no money. How is this subject even related to you? Shut the up, broke boy. Be delusional, sis. You're gonna get exactly what you want. Well, first of all, I'm a broke boy complaining about it on YouTube. I hope that's gonna be okay with you. Oh, you TikTok goddess, you. Second of all, how exactly being delusional is gonna help you? Does being delusional mean something else in your head? Let's take a look at the definition then. Something that is falsely or delusively believed or propagated. Okay. And here are some examples of delusion in a sentence. He has delusions about how much money he can make at a job. He is living under the delusion that he is incapable of making mistakes. She is under the delusion that we will finish on time. I also have one. She is under the delusion that she's anything else but a sugar baby. Let me tell you why, as a female, why you should never apologize. Ever. 
simply because I have never seen female that I respect ever apologize in her life. Oh baby, I'm so sorry. I was wrong. That just feels weird. Like that's like something is wrong with this picture if you see like a female apologizing. It's not like, it's not right, okay? We go through too many hormones for you to take us seriously, okay? So if you don't take us seriously, we should never even have to apologize in the first place. Oh, now I get it. That's what you meant when you said you're delusional. The only reason I'm interested in getting into a relationship again is because look how cute I am. Staring up at you. Wouldn't you love that? Somebody date me. Mm, no. What happened there, princess? Did you reach the point where you realized that no matter how strong and independent you are, you're still gonna need someone in your life? Okay, let me help you out then. Any of you guys watching this video want to date her? No? Sorry, princess, I tried. Hey, real quick. Strong women are softened in the presence of secure men. That's it. Oh, that's it? Okay, then my turn. Obviously, we have different definitions of what being a strong woman actually means. I'm aware that every generation thinks that they are the it, but if we really want to talk about strong women, we're gonna talk about older generations. A hundred years ago, your great-grandma probably fell in love, started a family, watched her husband go to Europe to some war that he didn't belong to, took care of her household, raised her kids, watched her husband come home, probably half the man that he used to be when he left, watched him fight demons only he can see, while being there for him, still taking care of the households and raising the kids. Those are actually strong women. And I'm not saying that strong women don't exist today. They absolutely do. And I see them every day. But like I said, we're going to have different definitions of what being a strong woman actually means. And I'm willing to bet every single money that I don't have that by your definition, being a strong woman means actually being annoying, loud and aggressive. And there is not a single secure man out there that will want that in his life. Beauty and the Beast is the one that is really upsetting to me because they try to make it like the Beast is this disgusting monster. The Beast is easily 6'4". <laughs> Definitely could play for the NFL. Pulls off capris. He's a homeowner <laughs> with a mansion that has a library. That's you money, okay? And he loves to read. That's adorable. I know what some of you guys are thinking, though. You're like, Hannah, he was a little controlling. Um, he never let her leave the house. That's my literal dream. <laughs> to never leave a mansion and have utensils getting me food the whole time <laughs> all right who said women can be funny i posted this video just to prove a point that women can be funny obviously it's not her but as soon as i find a funny one i'll make sure to post her video okay well fair enough what if, as a counter-protest, we're gonna take all that time, energy, and money that we put into dating, and we're gonna put it into ourselves? Put our money into our own hobbies, buying gifts for ourselves. We can even buy some girlfriend experiences at the corner, and it's gonna be probably cheaper than dating you. How long you think you're gonna last? But anyway, this is gonna be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Even if you didn't, I still appreciate you for making it this far. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.